Okay, so we are live at the Nigerian Air Force Protestant Church in Abuja. So the bodies are here already. We're waiting for them to be brought out. So we have officers of the Nigerian Air Force, the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Navy. Okay, so we're waiting for the procession. So we have the officiating ministers going in first. Then we have the senior officers of the Nigerian Armed Forces. Now we have the procession into the church.
So the procession is about to start. Don't forget, we are still live at the Nigerian Air Force Headquarters Protestant Church for the funeral service of the five of five of the officers who died alongside the chief of army staff in the plane crash yesterday in Kaduna. So we have um, the coffin of um, Brigadier General Olayinka. He was one of the entourage of the chief of army staff who died yesterday. So that is um, the coffin bearing oh. Brigadier General mm. or lying cop. Don't forget, we are still live at the Nigerian Air Force Headquarters Protestant Church in Abuja. So we have the remains of Brigadier General Olainka being taken into the church for the final service. Okay, now, so we now have on the remains of the flying lieutenant Umufa Day. So we have officers of the Nigerian Air Force here to bear the coffin into the church. So 
So if you remember, the chief of army staff who died yesterday in Kaduna died alongside some other officers. So here at the Nigerian Air Force Headquarters Protestant Church, we are here for the service of final service of five of the officers. So we already saw the remains of Brigadier General Olayinka. Then I moved into the church. Now we're waiting the procession of um, the remains of um, flying Lieutenant Asani and um, flying Lieutenant um, Olufade Alfred. So here we have the remains of employing Newton as a son. So this is the third officer. So if you're just joining us, don't forget we are live at the Nigerian Air Force Headquarters protested church for the funeral service of five officers who died alongside the chief of army staff at the plane crash which occurred in Kaduna yesterday. So we have the fourth officer, the remains of the fourth officer being moved into the church. The remains of Brigadier General Olayin Kadore will be moved in, followed by that of a flying Lieutenant Alfred and the flying Lieutenant Asani. Now we have that of um, Sergeant Adishina. So we are waiting the poor bearers to bear the, the last coffin to the church.
as you can see the situation outside, we have some officers of the Nigerian Air Force, officers of the Nigerian Army, officers of the Nigerian Navy. Some of, the, some of them are here to pay their last respects to their colleagues. So just like I said earlier, we are still awaiting um, Paul Bears to come and be at the last coffin. So four coffins have already been taken into the church. So if you are just joining us, my name is Deborah Kolawale. I am live at the Nigerian Air Force Headquarters Protestant Church in Abuja for the funeral service of five of the officers, five of the officers that were entourage of the chief of army staff who died, um, with, who died at, um, during the plane crash in Kaduna yesterday. So we have um, four of the officers, their bodies have already been taken into the church. So we are left with one. So this is the last coffin. So we have a sister here, as you can see. So this is the last coffin to be taken inside the church. So we are still live at the Nigerian Air Force Headquarters, protesting the church in Abuja. So here we have some officers here to pay their last respect to their colleagues who died in service.
Let us pray. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we are your servants and children. We have created us to serve you. You have created among us the bond of love and unity among ourselves. That it is through this that the world will know that we are your children and disciples. We are here as men and women of faith, with the Nigerian armed forces, together with the entire nation, as we gather to lay to rest the departed bodies of our colleagues, friends, and relations. We mourn with the nation, especially the President, Commander in Chief. We mourn with the team of defense staff and the service chiefs. We mourn with ourselves for taking away from us. But we are men and women of faith, and because of this, we give glory to you. Because we know that if you were not there, probably something worse would have really happened. But even in this moment of bereavement and mourning, we still know that you love us. And we believe that you are going to make up for us when we think we have lost. Lord God, receive the souls of these our brothers and departed colleagues and grant them rest. They live all their life fighting for the rest of Nigeria in peace. And we glorify their effort, their sacrifices and service to this nation. Hear our prayer. Give us your consolation in this moment of bereavement. May this kind of tragedy, Lord, Take a leave from us that we may continue to serve this nation, especially in this challenging time of insecurity. Grant us the courage to stand in the face of evil and defend our fatherland. Grant us the courage to stand and answer our name in the midst of uncertainties. Lord God, we are courageous and we believe you are with us. Hear our prayer, console us, and grant the souls of our departed brothers and colleagues eternal rest in heaven. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For you, Mr. Sandy, I'm taking the opening hymn, SSS 7 and 6, as in the Romanists and the Post.
explicitly in Revelation chapter 7, 9 to 17. I will invite him to make law when I go. I did okay for his scriptural reading.
Okay, so if you're just joining us, my name is